So this question is a diagram question. So of course I say that because of this large table that's provided here. So let's take a look at the table and then we'll dive into what we're being asked to find. So we have the number of states with 10 or more electoral votes in 2008. So in our first column here, we have the number of electoral votes between 10 and 55. And then the frequency, which just gives us the number of states, right? So for instance, there are four states with 10 electoral votes. There is only one state with 17 electoral votes. There is only one state with 34 electoral votes. Okay, so that's how we read the table. So once you're satisfied that you understand how to read a table, um, anytime you have a diagram question that provides a table, then and only then I suggest do you go on to read the actual question itself. So the question says, in 2008, there were 21 states with, with 10 or more electoral votes. All right, so I'm assuming that this represents 21 if I added all those numbers together, um, as shown in the table above. Based on the table, what was the median number of electoral votes for the 21 states? Okay, so what is a median? Right, so a median is basically the middle number from list in order. Right, and you know, so the order could be ascending order, it could be descending order. That doesn't matter as much as it. Um, which one of those you choose, I'm sorry, doesn't matter as much as just knowing that once you have chosen, um, you're looking for the middle number. So a lot of students make mistakes with questions like this because they don't understand how frequency relates to, um, to the data, right? So for instance, we have four states with 10 electoral votes, which means I should have four number 10s. And then I should have four number 11s, and then only 112, 113, 315s, and again, I'm getting this directly from the table, so so far I've done this first row, right, with the four 10s, four 11s, 112, 113, three 15s, so 15 there, and now I have 117, 120, two states with 21, one state with 27, one state with 31, one state with 34, and one state with 55. So what I do is once I've listed things out like this, and there's a faster way, which I'll show you at the end of the video, um, maybe a little bit faster. Um, what I like to do is once I list it out, I start to cross values out from the ends because now I'm just like making my way towards the middle number visually so I feel less likely to make a mistake and in doing that in this case what I get is 15 as the middle number which would mean that choice B is the correct answer so you know to showing you maybe a little bit of a faster way which I t actually typically use nowadays instead of writing out the list is since the number since it's in table form what I'll do is say well if I have four tens, right, if I cross this 10 out, I know that I'm actually needing to balance that out with four values from the other end of the list. So that's one, right, so that's 55, that's two, that's three, and that's four. So all four of these numbers cross out or balance out with the four tens that are represented there. And then I'd say, well, okay, I have four 11s, which means I can cross out two 21s, 120, and 117, because these three numbers represent a total of four values to cross out these four values. All right, now this 112 crosses out with one of these 15s, which means I still have two left, All right? So there's still two left. And then 113 will cross out with another one of the 15s, which means I still have one left, meaning that the only value left on the list that's not crossed out is the 115 that was left over. And again, that's why the answer is choice B. So if the if doing it this way, the last way that I just did, doesn't make full sense, um, go ahead and list it out. It doesn't take a whole lot of time, but I think it's good practice to kind of um, understand mentally how this table works. Once you understand how the table and frequency and everything works really well, 
um, the method that you just saw me use with just crossing it out directly on the table will begin to make more and more sense.